right, everyone. Welcome to your psychology class. I'm Kim. Nice to meet you. Um, and I'm looking forward to working with you this semester and getting to know you better through your writing, through your emails, through your discussions, and so on. So um, welcome and uh, contact me anytime. My contact information is in Blackboard, in the syllabus, um, and in a variety of places. So, And you're probably also going to get an email from me in the first week of class. So um, don't hesitate to contact me if you've got any questions. Um, and I hope everybody gets off to a really good start this semester. There are a couple of things I wanted to point out to you, not a lot. Um, most of it's in writing, so um, you can uh, look at it at your convenience and in more detail. Um, every week I post a checklist, um, and the checklist is in order uh, that I think makes the most sense for you to work through the material. You don't have to do it in that order as long as you accomplish everything by the end of the, the week. <clears throat> but one thing I want to point out is you need to look at the checklist and not just at the gradebook or the calendar in Blackboard. And the reason for that is not everything that's assigned um, has a grade, you know, a grade place in the gradebook. Um, and sometimes things are connected. And so in order to do well on the part that's graded, you will have had to do the, the intervening steps. Um, so make sure that you look at the checklist. Um, and then as you're looking at the checklist, the items below in Blackboard um, should appear in that same order. If there's anything that's missing, sometimes things are visible to the instructor and not to the students. And I don't realize it because I'm the instructor. Um, and so uh, sometimes on Monday morning, there'll be that one student who points it out to me. So if you're that one student, thank you in advance. Um, because that helps not only me and you, but everybody in the class. So um, if there's anything that you're looking for and not finding, look around for a minute. And if you can't find it, send me an email because I might have made a mistake. Uh, we all make mistakes, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Um, reading in this class, there's a lot of reading in college textbooks. Um, my suggestion is to, uh, to be a plot spoiler. Read the summary first. Um, read the summary, then read the chapter, and then go back and reread only the parts that you think you need more work on. Um, it's called focused practice. It's much more effective than starting at the beginning and getting two-thirds of the way through and running out of time, and then the last third of the chapter is a complete mystery to you. So it's uh, read the summary and then read the chapter quickly, just skimming it, um, not spending too much time on taking notes, um, and then go back and focus on the things that you think are important um, that you didn't understand. Um, if you have a used book um, or if you have another textbook because you took this in a prior semester or a friend took it, um, let me know. Um, you know. I'll be glad to try and help you out if there's a book that you're using and you don't have access to the, um, to the textbook that is the assigned one for this course. Um, I will post a PowerPoint with every chapter. You do not need to study the PowerPoints. Those are there for you to take notes on if that's helpful for you, to look at as an outline if that's helpful for you. Um, but anything that's going to be tested or assessed in this course is going to be in the book, it's going to be in the assignments, um, and it's not going to be solely in the PowerPoint. And the PowerPoint won't be enough either, so, um, so there's that. Um, every week I'll try and post a short video, five or ten minutes, um, about some of the highlights, some of the things that um, students typically struggle with, um, things that I'd like you to focus on, and perhaps things that I'd like you to skim over. Um, there are you know, certain parts of the chapter that we're probably not going to cover, and I'll let you know if that's the case. Um, discussions. Um, there have been times where, as a student, I didn't love discussion boards when I was taking online courses. Um, if you love discussions, you're in good, you're in good shape. We're going to have some. Um, there were semesters where I took the discussions out, and then students said, bring them back. And then I brought them back, and they said, no, get rid of them. So there's not you know, something that's perfect for everybody. Um, we will start with discussions in Blackboard, and then we'll branch out, and there will be some other options. Um, I'll try and have some Teams meetings as an alternative to the discussions, and if you want to and can join those, that's great. The Blackboard option will always be there. And we may experiment with some other ways of student-to-student um, -student interaction, such as um, using flip videos and those kinds of things. So I, I try and give students choices, right? Not everybody likes the same thing, and I want you to learn the material um, and to you know, advance in your academic career and, you know, and be able to use all of this information. Um, and so I'm less interested in the format and more interested in the content. Having said that, um, for grades, um, you don't need, if you, you know, if it's Sunday night and you don't finish your assignments, you don't need to email me late Sunday night or early Monday morning. Um, if, if I haven't entered a zero in the grade book, then it's still available to you for full credit. Um, so um, if it's Monday morning and you turn it in or Monday afternoon and you turn it in, if I haven't, you know, I grade everything that's been submitted first and then I enter the zeros. So if you can beat me to the grade book, then you'll get full credit for it and it's not late. So um, no worries about that. Um, short writing assignments. Um, every time I ask you to watch a video or do a thing, I usually want you to reflect on it um, in a short paragraph and I'll ask you some questions and ask you to answer them. 
Um, I'm expecting it to take five or 10 minutes. It's very informal writing. It doesn't need to be a five paragraph essay. I'm not your English instructor. Um, I just want you to think about how you could apply what you've just watched or just learned to your own life. Um, so five or 10 minutes. Um, sometimes people will write a very short amount. That's fine, that can get full credit. Um, sometimes they'll write a page or more because it really speaks to them and it's something that they want to write about and that will get full credit. And sometimes it will vary from week to week. Some assignments you'll be more interested in writing more about than others. Um, so, you know, just write, you know, write the amount that you think is appropriate. In general, I probably ask for about 100 words, which is you know, five or 10 sentences at the most. Um, so there you go. And um, that's just a short overview. Um, welcome to the class. Let me know if I can help you at all. And I'm looking forward to working with you.